Greetings, I hope all is well. I want to talk about the mathematical crisis that's presently plaguing every aspect of the world globally. I want to say that this issue has not been just a recent issue, but an issue that has existed since I remember growing up in Jamaica and attending primary school. I want to say thanks for joining me. The crisis of mathematics is really a problem, as I stated before. Researchers have done in-depth research and studies regarding the pedagogical approaches that suits children to adults regarding maths. One researcher stated that maths education has changed drastically. Another report stated that Americans have poor math skills, and because of this, they cannot be globally competitive, and their risk is great to the American society. In the meantime, in Jamaica, the Caribbean, there is an alarm as it relates to mathematics scores in the recent examinations. But this is not new. The reality is that we have a problem. And this problem is also compounded because we do not have enough maths teachers or people going into the field. Regardless of the concerns we have, I want to see that I want us to imagine a world where every child, every adult, regardless of their background, they have the ability to unlock the power of mathematics. A world I want to see that the fear of numbers is transformed into the joy of discovery. There is a possible solution that we can connect AI, artificial intelligence, and education. By leveraging AI, we can revolutionize the way maths education is done. We can empower educators and inspire students to become passive consumer and active learners in the process. In a world increasingly driven by digital technology, why not use this technology to help assist the Caribbean region and areas across the globe in using AI to solve some of these problems? I'm not saying that AI is going to solve everything we live in. Today, instead, we're faced with the global crisis as it relates to maths. And I want to see across continents, students struggle with basic math skills. And this deficit creates, of course, limited opportunity for future generations. But it can help us to make a world a bit easier. And let us go into some of the strategies that I want to share with you from my reflection. Again, from my reflection. I'm not a maths teacher, but I'm an educator with a passion of leveraging AI throughout the system. Mathematics, as one person said to me a couple of years ago, is everywhere. It's all around me. And that is where I realized that this woman had a passion for maths. Mathematics to her was more than numbers and formulas. It was a function as it relates to language. Artificial intelligence is not just a tool. It's a transformative force. Many sectors such as the military and health have been using this sort of technology for the last couple of years. Now it's time to bring this revolution to education where AI can solve our mathematical crisis. But I want us to explore today what we need to change as it relates to this reality that we have. And the reality is we need to get on board. Too often education is left behind. So the first thing I want to talk about is personalized learning because I think that's important. I remember doing my course in mathematics in Jamaica, several of them, and I was not as successful as I wanted to because the teacher had no time for me. If you got the concept, it meant moving on. But no one stood and said, you know what, let me take this student through step by step to let him or her understand. But, however, today we have what is called personalized learning. AI, of course, can change this sort of scenario that I painted earlier by offering personalized learning. And I say personalized learning and experience at the same time. Imagine that you have an AI application that understands your weaknesses, your strengths, and tailors that lesson or that example to ensure that you have it. Yes, you have it, you got it, because it's understanding your weaknesses. It's giving you examples that will allow you to develop the skills to move forward. And I want to say that AI can adapt examples to ensure that the activities are interactive and, of course, real-world application. 
It is about mastering the concept before moving on. A few months ago, I built a chat GPT for mathematics, and I wanted it to focus on a specific area. And I'm just going to take you into this GPT to show you how it can be done. It was designed to help someone that had difficulty with mathematics in a certain level. And every teacher has a possibility now to use it, to design one, or to use it to get information from. Now, with this GPT, also you could scan someone's work, upload it in the system, and ask it to analyze the steps where the student got it wrong. And by analyzing where the student got it wrong, then you could write out some examples or get some more examples and foster the learning to take place further. I am saying to Caribbean individuals and people across the globe that you can use this mechanism to enhance your delivery of content too. You can ask it to simplify examples to ensure that students have. And I know this, sometimes you run out of examples. Why not ask the ChatGPT system to give you examples from different angles so the student can grasp the concept? In this application, it's all possible and I could do many. So just look at it and look at the possibilities of where it's taking us at this point at this point in time. There are so many possibilities that you could use this application for. Here I have what is called Maths Mentor, and I have designed this GPT to be an expert in K-12 mathematics problems, and of course provide step-by-step -step solution with instructions. So for example, how do I solve this math problem? You could ask the GPT, and of course explain this math concept, of course, and give an example. I need help with my homework, math homework, of course, you could use it. And of course, can you draw an illustration for this math problem or problems that you want to solve? Load it, and then we're going to ask Math Mentor, um, please solve all this. So we please solve this equation. Let's see what it's going to do at this point in time. Images there is going to pull from that and it's going to give an overview so individuals can understand what is taking place here. Here it gives the output of what's necessary. And you can see there, you could practically use this to provide a step-by-step -step as it relates to solving the solution. Another important feature is that with AI, you can have real-time feedback driven by certain platforms. At this point in time, most schools should have an access to a form of learning management system. And it's a critical point in understanding where learning is and what the child or student needs to go. Instead of waiting for days to get feedback on a concept before moving to a more advanced concept, the child can get feedback or the student or the adult, whoever is in that dilemma, can get feedback. And it's so important to use that data to analyze common mistakes and address them, offering targeted recommendations to improve the student learning. How many times do we have, and teachers sometimes do not have time to give that feedback with an AI system, as I stated before, we have so much to give based on the technology. But remember, the first thing we have to do if we're using this technology is access. Students need internet access, teachers need internet access, and also we need component where we can say, you know what, we have to get some of these tools in. Nothing is free. And for us to advance, we need to spend money to, of course, help. Why spend so much money buying textbooks for students to learn when we can use AI to print some of these things out and get examples that are real once they are reviewed and vetted. Bridging the gap as it relates to resources. In many parts of the world, especially in developing countries, these countries have significant movement as it relates to their teachers. Teachers shortage. Qualified maths teachers are very difficult to find. I went to a school and if I can recall one or two maths teachers on my hand, I could recall more than this hand, yes. And I did not have access to some of the best teachers. Some of the best teachers, you know where they were. AI can serve as a virtual tutor, providing quality education regardless of 
geographical location or socioeconomic barriers. I would say that we have lost so many teachers in Jamaica because of the movement and other countries too, because they wanted to start a new life or experience something else or because of economic reasons. AI can democratize education, making quality maths instructions available everywhere and anywhere. So the part that you say, you know what, I don't know how to do things, it should be somewhat forgotten because now you have powerful tools if you have access to, and of course, hopefully, the Ministry of Education across the globe will give individuals the access they need towards having these tools. And let me get this clear. When I talk about empowering educators, I don't want anyone to say that I'm advocating for teachers to be out of the classroom. No. Teachers are very relevant. I want to say regarding that aspect too, there's an issue of special education needs. Sometimes you need to differentiate a lesson or activity. AI can break that down instead of allowing the educator to spend hours trying to differentiate a concept for two individuals differently. You know, so therefore we can use that technology to help us. Addressing the challenges, of course, we must consider ethical issues. And that is important for me. I've always said with the integration of AI into education comes challenges, concerns about data privacy. So when you're using these tools, do not put student's name or your name or your school's name within that sort of window. And of course, I want to say we have to think about policies within schools to allow them to grow within the AI feature. I've written a book chapter on that a couple of months ago. As a matter of fact, it was published in January where I talk about incorporating AI into the classroom or the curriculum with thoughtful and ethical guidance. We have to make a commitment that if we truly want to revolutionize education as it relates to maths education, there are many thoughts about why students are not performing well at this point in time. Some have been linked to curriculum changes. Some have been linked to global crisis, as we can see in COVID, and others are just based on pedagogical approaches. Regardless of what we think at this point in time, we must ensure that AI tools are accessible to all, not just to the privileged few. And in doing that, we must recognize that the teachers that we have now are more valuable than any other time. We need to understand that. For a future, we must also give consideration to in-depth thought as it relates to mathematical education and educators. I want to say at this point in time, there's a call for action. And I want you to imagine a classroom where AI and human interaction is a powerful combination. There is going to be creativity and there's going to be a learning experience that is going to be above all. A classroom, a classroom where every student regardless of their background, regardless of their learning ability or affordances, are able to engage and are encouraged to explore, to, of course, sometimes fail. And to understand that failure is just another part of the puzzle. And as they go through this, they will thrive. And of course, they will enjoy their journey in mathematics. Because mathematics literacy is not just a privilege for some, but a fundamental right. Because if you do not understand the function of maths, then we are in a crisis. There are some people that will take advantage of others. And in closing, let me see at this point in time, we're at a time that we have to, of course, embrace the technology. And if we embrace the technology and think about the power of AI, we will have a unique opportunity to address the challenges head on as we navigate the space. I want to say in closing that we can reimagine what is possible in education. We can build a future where every child has a unique chance to discover the beauty of mathematics, to see it is not just a hurdle, but an opportunity and a gateway, of course, for new things. The world is changing rapidly and education must change with it. As we stand at a crossroads, we have a chance to do so. We can empower the generation with the skills they need to be successful in the 21st century. We can solve the mathematics crisis and of course, open the doors for future generations to have their full potential. 
Let us choose to innovate. Let us choose to educate. And let us use AI to unlock the potential of every child and every person in the world. That's all for now.